Welcome to this video on creating a database backed web application. We've built a web application so far that has a database behind it. We can search for the jokes that we've entered into our database by the entire list of jokes plus using a keyword chicken. Now in this video we're going to create a form which will allow us to search for a keyword of our choice not just chicken. And so let's go to the Google web search and search for the terms form HTML. Let's see how a form is supposed to be built. So the first results that come up is from W3 Schools. Let's see if there's an example on this page to see how a form should be made. I scroll down through the page until I come to something that looks like the form I want. This has a couple of input fields plus a submit button. And so I'm going to use this code as my starting point. So you can see our HTML is here. Let's go back into our code. And uh, before we get to the search for keywords, I'm going to insert my new code here. Let's diagnose what's here. A form begins with the word form and it ends with a closing form. And it's going to look like this. It's going to have some things in the middle. Now in my form I'm not going to need both first and last name. I'm just going to need to have a single field that says search for a keyword. So I can delete these two lines here that say last name and instead of using first name as my key text, I'm going to say, please enter a keyword to search for. Now you're going to see some strange formatting going on. I've forgotten once again that I'm inside the PHP container. I need to actually stop the PHP processing and we're going to return to HTML for a bit and then I'm going to start it again once we've reached the next section of code. And so here, this is HTML in this section inside the pink area this is PHP so my text editor is warning me that I'm in different sections here by putting colors in the background so let's go back to where we were so form action and then we have this keyword sentence the input type I'm gonna change this name field from first name to keyword the value I'm going to actually erase. We don't want a value in there. Let's see if I can spell things right. Also, this word action page. This is the page that we're going to send the form to. We're going to receive the information and then ship it off to another form. And you can guess that the keyword search is the actual action I want to commit. So I'm going to put that in here as my action. So when the user clicks the submit button, it will look in this line to see where to go next. I'm also going to comment out this line here for searching for all jokes. And then down here I'm going to comment out this line so that they don't execute. So let's run the program, see what we get. So now we have a simple jokes page. It says enter a keyword. So I'm going to search for the word frog, for instance, and search. Now I get an error. The error is telling me that there is something wrong on line 7 on this file here called search keyword. Let's go see what's going wrong. So search keyword was this file here, line 7. Line 7 is we're trying to make a connection or we're trying to find something in this thing called MySQLi. So to fix that we could just make an include up here and tell it to include the database connection and that will make a connection before it tries to do any searching. Let's see what happens here now. Let's go back, type in the word frog, and submit it. This time we have two results. They're not searching for frog, it's still searching for chicken. However, you notice something in the top of the page. It says here, keyword equals frog. So this wasn't there before, this question mark. And the reason why it's there is because it came from a submitted form. Now all we have to do is take this word that was submitted in our URL and replace it in here. Instead of saying, go search for chickens, now we need to go search for the keyword right here. So next we want to capture this keyword, frog. How do we get that? The keyword is given to us in the URL because it was submitted by a form. Well, there's a way in PHP to capture that. And so let's go to our Google searches and find out how that works. 
In Google, I'm going to search get form PHP or something like that, get form variables. And then we're going to find something called the uh, PHP 5 form handling. There's going to be all kinds of help on the pages. This is a real common thing that people search for, but we'll just take the first results. I'm going to scroll down the page and we're going to find something about two functions. One called get, another one called post. So a little ways down the page we have this example. We have something that has get and then a field name. That's exactly what we want to use here. So I'm going to copy this and come back to my example here. So I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to say keyword from form. And that's going to equal this get thing. It's going to be get of the keyword that was entered into the top of the form. So I'm going to see if this actually comes out correctly. Let's save it. Let's go back to our web server. I'm going to leave this URL up here that says keyword equals frog and just refresh it. And you can see the first thing that came out on the page was the word frog. So it appears that we're actually capturing this value from the URL. Now how do we put that variable into here? Instead of chicken, I want to have this variable name. Well, let's do a little bit of a string magic here. Let's delete this. Inside here, we're going to put a double quote and a period, and then another double quote with another period. That means we're gluing strings together. Inside here, we can put another string. Well, actually the string we want is this variable. So let's copy that and paste it over to here. And so now it's going to use this word keyword from form instead of the word chicken. Let's save this, refresh the page once more. And now we have jokes number seven and number nine. It says what happens to frogs when the cars break down. And so it's searching and finding the word frog. I'm going to take out this echo on line 5 because that was just for testing purposes. So now we have a, a working form. Let's back up one page here till we get to our jokes page and try other things. And how about playground? There's one on playground. I don't remember if there are any others. When? There's a few jokes with that. So it looks like our search terms are working. Every time we search, the form introduces this into the URL. And so then the keyword search program here gets this out of the URL. That's what the get command is doing for us. And we're able to use it in our form search and show it on the screen. It looks like we need to add one more thing. It still says chicken in our H2 title. So it says search for where chicken is. Let's change that to the word keyword from form and let's save that and see how it works when well let's see if we can do another one let's try frog and submit and there it is showing all the keywords frog okay so that pretty well wraps it up we've got ourselves a search function that's working it's pulling data out of the database the next part is we're going to have to create a data entry form now so we can add new jokes and actually write data to the database. And that's coming up next in our next video.